So thank you for taking the time to chat with us today, Katie. No problem. Tell us a little bit about Wish You Were Dead. So Wish You Were Dead, it is based on the Peter James's, um series of books about uh, Roy Grace and the trials and tribulations of being a detective. And if anybody's watched the ITV series Grace, this um, particular play kind of carries on from that, from the story. Um, so Wish You Were Dead is about Roy Grace and his wife, Cleo Morley, and that's me. Um, that's who I'm playing. And she is a pathologist, and they're going off on the holidays, on the honeymoon with a little baby boy, and it all just goes wrong. Um, there's lots of twists and turns and some giggles along the way. So it's for everybody. You don't have to have watched Grace. You don't have to have watched Peter James, um, sorry, read Peter James's books. You can just come along and watch it. Um, but if you are a fan of Peter James, you can kind of come along and you'll see bits and bats that refer to the novels and the series as well. So it's open to everybody. Oh, wonderful. I like you mentioned there that there's some giggles to be had as well. You might not think that going into a thriller. How do you yes, balance I know. That's you? um that's what I love about this because Peter James is renowned for his his crime thrillers, which are brilliant. And this is very much in that genre. But I think because if you're seeing Cleo and Roy away from work, they're on holiday and you're seeing a different side to them. And I think everybody is being on holiday and it's all gone wrong, which is actually quite funny. I've certainly been on a few holidays where it's not what I expected, but you have to kind of have a giggle about it. And they've turned out to be the best holidays, actually. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of um, light-hearted bits in it as well, which I think is nice. You kind of see a different side to the characters. You know, they've got very serious jobs and it's nice to see them in more of a... I'm saying relaxed in inverted commas, um, a relaxed <laughs> environment away from work. You know, they're taking the work hats off um, and just having a relaxed time. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned that you play Cleo and yes. she's a pathologist um, and she's very dedicated to her job and she's dedicated to a new family. She just had a baby. What's your favourite thing about playing the character? I think... What I love about Cleo is she's super intelligent. She's very strong minded. Um, and she is, you know, she's a new mother, which again is another string to a bow. You know, she's got this really intricate job, like super serious job, but she's got a witty, fun side to her as well. She's quite playful, um, which I love because not everybody will expect that. Um, so, yeah, she's just an all-around, very interesting character to play. She's intelligent, she's witty, she's fun. She's got a few different sides to her. She's a protective mother. Um, and, of course, she is a wife to, to Roy as well, so there's that element in it as well. It is it is just um, a really fun character to play and not like any other character that I've played before, which I love. You mentioned some of the people that you're going to be starring in the, in the show with George Rainsford, Clive Mantle, Leon Stewart. What's it like to sort of bounce ideas and to bounce off of them on, on a stage? Is it quite different to how you've acted before? Um, it's brilliant. I mean, I've joined part way through. Um, so they've already kind of got in the rhythm of the show. But what's been brilliant is... I have been able to like improvise with them both. Like every every night, we might do something a bit like slightly different, but they're all just such top actors to be working alongside with. Um, I'm like a sponge. Like they've got, you know, so many um, strings to their bow because I've never done theatre before, not in this respect. So it's just, it, I'm just in awe of them. So like learning from them, bouncing ideas off each other. And I'm really enjoying working with them all so far. It's fab. Oh, that's wonderful. I mean, you know, talk about a career to be in awe of. I mean, the things that you've done in your career, Coronation Street and Waterloo Road, The Syndicate, I mean, you're fresh off Strictly. It's such a wonderful run on Strictly. How, what are you really taking from this, this stage experience? Is it what you expected? Has it changed as you've gone on? Um, I, I'd say it's been a bit of a whirlwind, to be honest. I'm in my second week of performing now. Um, 
so it's all just it's gone really quick and we've crammed a lot in because the first three weeks of rehearsals we had to kind of work around the actual performances that were still going ahead um so I've just been like road runner trying to pick every, everything up <laughs> and now I've finally kind of settled down a bit and I'm just really enjoying it it's there's nothing like being on stage and it's a lot of fun I am just enjoying it I love what I love about this job is I want to carry on trying different things challenging myself learning new things because I don't just want to drift through life I want to keep absorbing different things and um I just think it kind of grows you as a person and as an actor as well um and yeah I just there's nothing like getting the audience there as well being there getting that instant audience reaction entertaining them making them laugh making them shocked um it's just brilliant do you find that audiences are different in the different places that you're you're performing in? Yes, definitely, because there are a few um, jokes in this play and certain areas will pick it up and other ones don't. It's, it's interesting. Every area is different and every audience is different as well. Um, so it, that kind of keeps you on your toes because you never know what you're going to get with the audience. But the, so far, the um, the audience reaction at the end of, has been fab. I think everybody has enjoyed it. Um, I've actually watched the show as well, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed reading the script um, and watching it. It's just an all-round great show. You'll have some laughs. You'll be shocked in bits as well. You've got to work things out. It just keeps you on your toes the whole way through. Um, so, yeah, I think everybody will enjoy it if they come to watch. Is there a scene or a line that you particularly love playing or that you feel that the audiences really give you a great reaction for? Um, I think, obviously, I don't want to give too much away, but my personally, my favourite line of mine is when I say um, scorned, and I know it's literally one word, but if you come to watch it, you'll understand. <laughs> um, I just think Cleo's being a bit, clever and I really like that about her she's quite a feisty character um and yeah I just I love that about her she's really strong she really cares about a family um and she'll do anything to try and protect them um but I'll that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> yeah I was gonna say I don't want to make you like spoil anything Katie, no I won't spoil anything there is a thought but, but I think we'll all have fun looking out for that that word that that line delivery and seeing how that fits in I think that's one of the things about um, seeing thrillers in the theatre is that the, you really get the audience actively involved in, as you say, piecing together the mystery. Yes, definitely. And I think that's the the wonderful thing about being part of this genre as well, because I've never done a thriller before. Um, obviously, I've done loads of different TV work, but I've never actually been in this genre. And I'll just love... I mean, obviously, we can't directly see the audience because it's kind of blacked out and we have the lights but you can kind of hear them and sense them trying to work it out, which I think is great because it keeps the audience interested. Um, yeah, it's it's really fun to be a part of. And now that you've you've really got into grips with this this stage theatre world and and really getting that sense of of mystery, do you think there's any secret to making something like this work? Is it getting the audience involved? Is it dropping the crumbs? What do you think works for you? Um, I think it's just kind of spicing it up yourself in any which way you can because you are doing the same show every day, sometimes twice a day. Um, so it's just kind of keeping the energy up. But because it is because of the nature of this genre, you kind of are doing that because there's loads of twists and turns in it. There's loads of there's some funny elements in there as well. So it's not there's a lot that happens in a short space of time. It's quite a fast paced um play so it, it does keep you on the toes which then keeps the audience on the toes as well so well, here we've got some some special effects going on in this show Is yes we do <laughs> um it's an i mean it might be a bit shocking i wouldn't say it's directly scary um you know, the clown it isn't going to come out or anything like that. I'm just afraid of clowns. Oh but um, but it is, there's like some shocking bits in it. Yeah, definitely. And I think the way that they've staged it all and all the effects are just brilliant. People that have come to watch it have commented on that 
Um, and I I noticed that obviously watching it myself, and I just think it's brilliant how they've done it. But again, I won't it. I won't um, give too much away. <laughs> and uh, this is if I've done my maths correctly. Maths is not my strong suit, Katie. So, but I, as far as I can add up, this is the sixth Peter James novel that's been brought to the stage. So yes, the series just seems to be really, um, you know, reaching out and striking a chord with audiences. Why do you think that is? I think because the books are just so gripping and why not put it on stage? Because when you're in a theatre, you do not want to get, you don't want your audience to get bored. And I think if you've got a thriller genre, it's not exactly boring, is it? And especially with this one, because there's fun elements in it as well. The audience are just engaged the whole way through. So why not have it on, on stage and really get the atmosphere of the book on stage in real life um everybody has their vision when they read novels but i think putting it on stage the elements how they do it how the staging people do it are just brilliant and they really do bring the book to life um and you know just take the audience away for a couple of hours in a different reality and it's just it really is just a, a fab platform to be involved in and what do you feel when when the audiences come out of that new theatre, so you're playing at the new theatre in Cardiff next week, when yes. they're coming out, the, the curtain's down, the music's finished, what do you want them to, to feel by the end of this play, Katie? I want them to feel elevated, happy, um, intrigued, because there's still some bit... I want them to question certain things, and that's what I love about this as well, because there's certain elements in it that are quite ambiguous. Obviously, I won't mm -hmm. give too much away. Um, but the, I just want them leaving, feeling like they've had a, love, a, a really interesting, fun evening, because that's what it is. You'll have a, a few laughs, but your mind's constantly engaged, wondering what's happening. And then at the end, you might have a couple of questions as well and trying to work it out. And that's what I love about Peter James. It's just brilliant. Oh, amazing. And what are you most looking forward to about coming to Cardiff and performing in Cardiff for the first time? Um, I've never been to Cardiff, so I'm very much looking forward to being there um, and having a look around and just exploring the city. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And I've obviously never been to Cardiff. I've never been to this particular theatre either. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, Katie, you're going to have such a warm welcome in Cardiff. We're, we're so oh, to have you with us. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait. I do. I do love Wales, so I think I think I'm going to love it. Oh, I'm sure. And what's up next for you after this? Um, there's a couple of things possibly in the pipeline, but nothing's been set yet. I'm just kind of focusing on this because this is a brand new thing, and then. Yeah, I'm, I've got um, a meeting lined up and, yeah, just have to see what happens. I, I, don't, I don't really like planning things as such. Um, it's just whatever comes along, if it feels right, then I'll do it, like this did. Um, and I'm not regretting my decision. I'm loving it so far. Oh, that's amazing to hear, Katie. Well, I think I speak for all of us when I say we're really looking forward to, to having you with us in Cardiff. We can't wait to see you in the show. And I'm just really excited for, for Peter James sort of stagey franchise cinematic universe to keep going from strength to strength yes no that's brilliant and yeah i hope you all enjoy it which i'm sure you will <laughs> we can't wait thanks katie thank you